Well, I was born in Winnipeg in the North End in 1928, May 15. Uh, I don't know if you know Winnipeg very well, but North End was a very tough area. If you survived there, you could live anywhere. It's like little Chicago. I didn't have much money. I had just a lot of ideas, but no money. He went out and built his first home and sold it, made some money, and decided he had the builder's bug. And he now wanted to just go out and continue doing what he loved to do, and that was build, see things grow from the bottom up. It's creative. It's like being an artist. It's the same thing. You get something going, and there it is, yeah. Mel Zajac has been a real contributor to Vancouver. He was one of the important people in the days before Vancouver is what it is today. He was a hard worker and uh, he was a good community person. He supported the community and uh, he was a good, successful business person. And I think Mel, you know, in history, has surrounded himself with like-minded people. People that have a love of life, a love of earning great living, and a love of giving back to the community. That really defines Mel. You know, he's got this tremendous joy of life. And that's like packed into kind of some kind of uh, ener energizer bunny. So he's just this completely amazing guy to be around at all times. He's a joyful person. He still goes to the office every single day. You know, it's, it's amazing, but that's, that's what he does. He, he, Mel lives to work and do shit. I mean, that's his whole thing, is getting up every morning and doing shit. And as he said to me the other day, he said, you know, Ward, he said, there's no such thing as neutral. You've got to be moving forward all the time. And he said, and there's no such thing as horizontal. You've got to be vertical all the time and you've got to be moving. So I think he sleeps standing up. I wake up early because he used to phone us at five in the morning, we'd put water beside our bed just because we didn't want to sound like we'd been sleeping. So we were just like, yeah, we've been up, we've been skipping, we've been working out already, like, because it was like, you can't, you don't make money sleeping, you don't get ahead sleeping. So we were all like, always on edge, like, oh, we better be like alert when he calls at like six. But anybody that's accomplished what Mel has accomplished, has had reverses and setbacks. That's just part of the game. And uh, that's one of the reasons he's been successful because he's obviously persevered against adversity. Wendy helped him a lot. Wendy was a big, she's, been such a great um, support of my dad's. And that's when he decided to form the foundation in their memory and it was a suggestion from one of his good friends that said, you know what Mel, this might be a way for you to deal with this. We bought the, the site and I would guess within a week my dad's knocking down buildings and building buildings and he was determined to get that camp open the following summer, and he did. We, did. we did a lot of work here. When we were building it, we said sometimes we'd be there seven days in a, in a row without every day, every day. They say the hardest thing is losing a child, and they lost two. So many people would just bury themselves in the hole and become isolated and just not go on living, and they did the opposite. They went on living, and they did something took something that was very tragic in their lives and turned it into something very positive. He came up with a cause that was near and dear to his heart and he had the passion that inspired so many of us to uh, support Mel and his great cause. He's a survivor and uh, whatever he does, uh, uh, he wants to help the community and that's why he started the foundation and that's a great job, and that's not easy. Mel cares in a highly activist way, and he's done that throughout all the period of time I've known him. He raises money actively. 
He gives his own money actively. He builds facilities for people in need actively, like the Zajac Ranch is the perfect example. And this is a staggering amount of work. In this country, no one would match Mel Zajac. What you see there and the execution of all that is one man and one man alone. With Wendy by his side as his, as his biggest supporter and lieutenant, but everything you see there and every dollar, he raised all that money on his own, making phone calls and going office to office. And I can tell you that when Mel got one on the hook, he was in their office in 10 minutes. It didn't matter where they were. He was in their office in 10 minutes and he's sitting in their boardroom for the day or in the waiting room for the day if he had to, to get that check to make it happen for the kids. Well, uh, the money's out there, but you have to find it. <laughs> from where it was to where it is, and that whole accomplishment and all that hard work, um, I think it makes him very happy that he's been able to honor his sons. And it's a beautiful, beautiful facility for kids with life-threatening and chronic illnesses, and it's needed. It's needed in this province, it's needed in this country, and we get a lot of families and, and children that are really grateful that it's there for them. Well, it's a, a legacy for the, the family and for, for the British Columbia, I mean, it, you know, it's going to be here for, I hope, forever, you know. That facility that he built helps thousands and thousands of children. So one can be incredibly proud of that, of course. But I think, in a larger sense, what do I think Mel could be most proud of is the integrity with which he has lived his life. The hundreds and hundreds of friends he has, the hundreds and thousands of admirers he's had, who he has helped, who he continues to help. He's really the, the pinnacle of what giving back is all about. He is absolutely not interwoven with the fabric of the community. He is the fabric of the community. The vision was there. As you could see, my vision is still going. I'm still building. Well, uh, I want to retire when I'm 98, so I'm going to have a big party. <laughs> I hope I still can dance. The world's a wonderful place. You just have to take your, your place in it and do some good and, you know, and help the other guy. Don't always be selfish. Help the other guy. <laughs>